Welcome to day nine of the Match World Cup video blog in association with Chewitz. It feels really weird for me to be introducing a whole new day already because I only finished my last blog about 12 hours ago and I haven't been asleep ever since. And it might seem a bit strange to you because obviously the night's come through but I had a really early flight in the morning so I just thought I'll go to the airport, I'll get there in Cape Town and then I'll get myself back to Johannesburg and I won't bother to sleep. So I got on my flight at 6.45am and I was surrounded by England fans, hundreds of them on this flight with me, coming back up to Joburg. All of them had the same question on their lips and we were all talking about how exactly England hadn't got three points from the game against Algeria, how our massively better players hadn't performed and we hadn't managed to just completely destroy them on the pitch. No one had a real answer to that, but an answer's going to come in the next few days because there's going to be some press conferences lined up. Fabio Capello and the big England players, they're going to be answering the questions from the media, talking about why it was we didn't actually get the win there and play as well as we really hoped to. So that's going to be really interesting. And I'm going to be there with my dictaphone, taking all the recordings and bringing it back for the magazine and for the blog. Anyway, the main reason for me rushing back here today was because Rustenburg Stadium, there was a big match taking place. Australia versus Ghana, and I absolutely loved it. It was an awesome game. It might have finished 1-1, not loads of goals, and not with a winner, but it was incredible, because there was so much tension and so much drama, a lot resting on this game. Australia took the lead, and then they were really unlucky, because Harry Kuehl got sent off for the ball being smacked into him and hitting him on the arm. Now, certain referees might send a player off for that, but I think a lot of referees wouldn't. So Australia are feeling a little bit gutted about they've had another man sent off. That's two games in a row now it's happened to them. At the end of the game, with the players feeling pretty happy about things, because they held on and they played really well, I spoke to Tim Cahill and got a bit of feedback as to how he thought the game went and how proud he was of his teammates. Check it out. Well, you were feeling really proud seeing that watching that performance and you still have like your emotions. Mate, my, my emotions is I'm proud of my team. I was there in the speech before, I was there in half time, I made sure the hills had been there all week. And, you know, for me, it's, it's hard last night, I hardly got any sleep because I was thinking about what is, what could have been, and, and what can be. And now I know that, you know, uh, my dreams of life are going to be pointless. That's quality. He's a top bloke, Tim Cale. I've interviewed him a few times for the magazine, and we're pretty good mates now, so he always gives me good answers. And I was really pleased that he's now got a chance himself to get back in the team after suspension and go and put in a good performance against the Serbians and see if Australia can qualify for the next round. It's all good. I'm back in my flat in Rustenburg now, and all the day's match results are in, so here's time for your big match result roundup. The first game of the day was Holland against Japan, and the Dutch came through as the winners. Wesley Schneider with a fantastic goal to take all three points, and that puts them top of their group with Japan only on three points. Ghana against Australia, I talked about it earlier, a 1 1 draw, and that leaves those two teams both with a chance of getting out of the group into the second round. And the final match of the day was the one in the Dutch group, Cameroon against Denmark, and a bit of a shock because Cameroon took the lead through Eto, but then Denmark fired back. Really good goals, nice team play, and Benton has scored, and then Romadal, and that means the Cameroon will be knocked out of the tournament. Big day for all those results. Looking forward to tomorrow now, a bit of a heads up for you. A press conference has been called over at England, so I'm going to be going over there, the edge of Rustenburg, and I'll be going to there and see about what's been said about the match of the weekend, all of the feedback. Okay, that's everything for today from the Match World Cup video blog in association with Chewitz. Check me out tomorrow for all the news from England and for around all the games of the World Cup. Nice one.